Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a huge, absolutely massive haul video for you. Um, I've picked up a few things from all these different places and because there's just so many things in here, I'm just going to split it up into two parts. So the first one will be shoes and then the second part will be clothing. I've just gone absolutely insane with purchasing shoes, so I will start that first. If you want to see what I got, just keep watching. Um, I kind of went a little bit crazy online shopping and they've all come in at the same time so I thought hell why not do another fashion haul with you guys. Um, I know typically I said in my previous videos that I'm actually trying to stay away from spending too much on clothing items but <sighs> what can a shopaholic do but bye bye bye. So anyways without further ado let me get on to the video. I have bought um, a few things from a range of different brands, a lot of which you can actually still find online I believe and I will try to do some cutaways for you guys so you know how it fits. I absolutely went nuts um, purchasing shoes. I think I bought about like seven <laughs> pairs of shoes. I know, I know. Like do I have seven pairs of feet? No, but hey ho, I love my shoes. Alright, so the first um, two items I wanted to share with you guys are absolute keepers in my opinion and I was so, so happy to have come across them. That is from the brand Whitner. So Whitner, I believe, is an Australian shoe company um, and they sell mostly like leather shoes. So it is a little bit more in the mid-range um, prices. So shoes will go for around 250 100 plus um, that sort of price bracket just because they are made of real leather. So the first one that I wanted to show you are some loafers. Now I love myself a good pair of black loafers. I think they're essentials. Um, they're my go-to flats. I love my loafers and my old ones are getting a bit. So I felt like it was time to purchase myself a new pair. Um, so I got these. Um, these are called the Parker Loafer and I got it in black. They're made of all leather. This is what they look like. So it's just a pair of pointed um, loafer flats with just um, more of a patent strap at the front and I got them in a size 36. They are an absolute dream to walk on um, so they are so so comfy I did actually purchase another um, sort, of, sort of tassel loafer from ASOS before I purchased this one which I'll show you in a minute but these ones are keepers and I will be returning the ASOS ones these were $150 so um, yeah I think it's reasonable for a great pair of all leather white loafer flats so they also have a white I was hoping that they would have a brown, but they don't, otherwise I would have also picked that up. Um, the next item I purchased from Whitner, it comes in this white box. This is the Asha in Nude. As soon as I saw them, I had to have them because they actually remind me of the, um, the Aquazura um, new sort of heels. Um, anyway, I think they're called the Chrissy or... Um, I'm not really sure, but this is what they look like. So if you are familiar with Aquazura shoes, you know which ones these are kind of modelled after. But essentially, a pair of nude patent heels with arm and toe, which I don't normally gravitate towards. I really like my pointed toe because I think that it just elongates your legs. But um, these were the only ones that they had. They come with a block heel, which is absolutely perfect. I... I love my like mid mid height block heel and um, the new patent is just perfect as well. This is what they look like. I love them on and I love the tie up details. Now I do have to admit that um, I'm not really happy with the quality that these came in because there's like fraying of like the straps already and I haven't even worn them yet. So um, I'm going to go in store and see if they have another pair that's you know a little bit better quality um, but we will see they were on sale they were $100 each originally 250 I believe so um, a pretty good price and then Whitner was having a sale where if you buy two pairs of shoes you get 40% off the second pair so I managed to save 50 bucks or something like that between the two of them so 
Those are true absolute keepers in my opinion. Um, I also purchased from the brand Nex. So Nex is, um, I believe, a UK brand that ships worldwide and um, it got here pretty fast. It was three, four days, so pretty happy with that. And I believe you can, in terms of return, they do have an Australian um, warehouse that you can send items to. So that's something I always look out for when I'm purchasing from overseas sellers, just to make sure that when I return them, I don't have to pay like 50 bucks to actually return the item because it's like in the UK that I have to send them back. So I can actually send these items back to New South Wales if I don't like them. So I purchased three pairs of shoes. Um, the first that I wanna share with you are these. So can you... Can anyone guess what they kind of look reminiscent of? So as you can see, they are quite reminiscent of the Chanel slingbacks that's just taken over Instagram world right now. These aren't, you know, complete dupes um, because they are a little bit different. They have more of that loafer style at the front, um, but they do still have the black... Um, What's this called? Toe cap detail, um, and they are slingbacks with, um, you know, another block um, heel, which I absolutely adore. These are really, really comfy. I also believe that these, this is made of all leather. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Or oh, maybe not. So the interior is made of all leather, but the exterior is made of, I think, man-made. So um, this is. PU and then the interior is all leather but super super comfy to walk in I think they're actually quite cute and I do like the loafer detail and the fact that it's pointed rather than the arm and shape of um, the Chanel um, slingbacks so um, these are really cute I, I'll put all the prices in the info bar below um, just because I cannot remember off the top of my head right now what were these called I do not remember what these were called either yep that's just called the slingback shoes <laughs> um, and I got it in a size 36 and these were $54 I believe so pretty affordable in my opinion so that's the box there and that's the price and the detail it does come in another sort of like gray color but yeah that's that one Next are these, so these are sling back loafers, so these are actually flats. I don't know if it's real suede on the exterior, but certainly the interior is all leather. It's quite comfy, these flats, and again, these are kind of reminiscent of the um, Gucci sling back loafers, obviously without the really high price point. I really want those, um, but... I've just never been one to invest in shoes at all, um, but I think I might make an exception for loafers because I just, I love, I love, love, love loafers. Um, I don't wear heels as much, but loafers I, I just adore. So maybe, um, I kind of wish I went to Gucci when, when I went to Melbourne just to at least to try it on, but regardless, these come in this um, tan, tan brown caramel color and it's got gold horse bit details very tiny heel and also they're obviously slingbacks so from the front they just completely look like normal loafers and then from the back um, they just give a bit more of a, an interesting detail um, they did come in a white which I or a cream which I think I would have actually preferred um, I don't I'm not huge on um, suede loafers i don't really like that as much but um the white was completely out of stock so i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm keeping these and then just waiting for the white ones to come back in stock but i do actually really like them and for the price it actually was pretty good so this was um 51 dollars so reasonable i think and again i got it in a size 36 um and really really cute i think so that's the second pair. And then the last pair of shoes I got from Next um, are these um, leather mules. These ones are going back um, because although they look really, really cute in picture and on their own, unfortunately, I have pretty narrow feet. So these don't really fit comfortably on my feet. So when I walk in them, I feel a little bit um, unsteady. So that is why they're going back. But essentially... 
this is what they look like. They're like a cut out pair of mules. Um, I'll just show you this one. All leather. This is actually already the narrow width. There is a wider width, which um, that would have just been impossible for me to use. I got it in the black. I actually wanted the nude. I think it would look a lot cuter, but it was completely sold out in the narrow width. So I got the black just to try it on, but even with just the regular width size, it's just too, too wide for me. Um, but they're otherwise quite cute, and if you're looking for something like these, they also come in the nude and the silver and the black. So there's a few color, color options to choose from. And this was probably the most expensive one for $65. So still really affordable in my opinion for a pair of like all leather. The top here is leather and the interior is leather as well. And actually the heel's really cute but I prefer my um, obviously block heels because it's just a lot more comfortable to walk in. So that is everything from next. I'm going to move on to Zara because I purchased one pair of shoes from Zara and I absolutely adore it. I've already been wearing it when I went to Melbourne, but these are them. They're just the leather mules. Um, they were, I believe, $100. I'm not 100% sure, but I got it in the black and the size 36. They also do come in the um, brown suede, I believe, um, or the tan. But... These are essentially, as you can see, just slip-on mules. Um, it's got elastic detail here so that it's comfortable to walk in. And then it's also got that block um, mid-size heel, um, which I absolutely love. So I've been wearing these. I think they look super cute with cropped flares or even skinny jeans. Just really comfortable. I do have another pair of all of the mules, but those have a really, really high pointed heel. So... These are just a lot more comfortable to walk in and yeah, highly recommend from Zara. So I do have the receipt here on me and it was only $59.95 which is amazing. So hopefully you can see that. The top one is what it is. So just screenshot the number code there if you are interested in purchasing them. So that's that. Absolute bargain. Absolutely adore. So glad I picked it up. Moving on to my ASOS haul. I purchased two pairs of shoes from ASOS. So I got these nude sort of um, almost kitten heel pointed heels. Um, I got it in the size UK size 3 which is naturally a size 6 here in Australia. Um, I just needed myself a pair of everyday sort of nude heels that I could wear. I do have, you know, a, one new pair of heels, that, but it's quite high. And I tend to wear that more for when I'm going out and things like that. But I just wanted something that I could actually just wear, you know, just on an everyday basis without it being, you know, too much. So I feel like these fit the bill because... The heel of them makes them a little bit more casual, I think. Um, and I love the patent nude. I think if you're going to get a nude pair of shoes, best go with the patent because the shine really, I feel like it makes your legs look longer. And I'm all about the longer legs, so there you go. Anyway, so these are the sole. They were $60. I'm not 100% sure on the prices. I'll put links down below and they come in an array of different colors, different finishes. So it comes in suede, patent. It comes in this print as well, which is really cute. And I'm, I was thinking of getting that one. So yeah, absolutely love them. Um, these are definitely a keeper amongst my other pairs of shoes that I purchased. Next, the other pair of shoes that I wanted to share with you were actually these um, patent loafers. This one has the tassel detail and this is called the Liberty um, loafers, I believe. These were only $38 or 40 bucks, which is actually quite reasonable, but um, because I bought the other loafers and they're actually a lot more comfortable and just I just like the overall aesthetics of that one more. I will be returning these ones. These shoes are still really, really cute. You know, I wouldn't have hesitated to keep them if I didn't have the other ones. But yeah, I just think I have too many loafers to really justify keeping these. Um, but yeah, 
there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the haul video. Don't forget to check out the second part, which will be my clothing items. If you want to see the new items that I got, such as this top, um, go ahead and click the second video in the info bar below and go and watch that. But before you do, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And until next time, guys, bye.